Sonic seems like you're ignoring him. Uh, I'm ignoring him. Uh, play a new game. Um, getting really bored. Sorry, I'm not playing a different game. Um, I, I might <laughs> maybe change to a Ratchet and Clank. Maybe. Um, if is there a Ratchet and Clank that hasn't been done during the stream? Um, Evil Dead. Evil Dead. Has there been um a Ratchet and Clank game you aren't doing? Because if there is, I'll do that. Or for a bit of it. Oh my god, a f the epic cake line! <laughs> cake! <laughs> That line had me laughing every time. It's so good. <laughs> who was it who wrote and the now, script for this? What was it? What was it like working with voice actors in games I've worked on? I love working with voice. Actors. That's like my favorite. Thing. Ooh, what, whoa, you mic. <laughs> what happened? You went into static mode. <laughs> and now you're really now? quiet. You're a bit quiet. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let me try. Oh, no, you're better now. There we go. Okay. I guess yeah. you brushed. Thanks. You must have brushed against the mic or something. Weird, because I'm just using my computer's built-in mic. Oh. Huh. And um, oh well. Yeah, I, I'm using um, that. I love. Anyway, I love working with voice actors. They're awesome. Mm. My favorite one to work with a guy named Cam Clark, who is the voice of the original Leonardo from the original Ninja Turtles mm. cartoon. That guy is the best. Uh, he <laughs> plays Arbo in this game. You need a life Skylander. I have a life Skylander. I have... I can't remember its name. Stealth Health, that one. <laughs> oh, she's my. She's Mary's favorite. My uh -huh. wife. Stealth Health? Yes. Hi, Mary. <laughs> Are there um, any that's what she said moments in Skylanders? I mean, there's tons of them, but nobody actually says that's what she said. <laughs> it's a little above our target age demographic, you know? Yeah. I'll try and find... I assume there's some of them in Skylanders Giants, because I will strive to find them. <laughs> I will find the moments, and I will point <laughs> them out. Well, if they're there, they're unintentional. Fair enough. <laughs> I am. Um, I tried to keep the first Let's Play of it fairly family friendly because it was a kids game. Like I knew it was kiddish, um, so I didn't try and swear. Although I think I did a few times and I got a few complaints because of it. Um, so I will try and do the basic, un, like the basic non swearing but very dark humour. <laughs> I will try and do that. <laughs> I've done it before. I can do it again. <laughs> We'll find a way. Kit Kat Man One 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 asked, "My, uh, what's the difference between the legendary Skylanders and are there going to be legendary giants?" I actually don't know if there's going to be legendary giants. Uh, I think there are, uh, but the legendary Skylanders tend to just have uh, uh, more, like bigger stats, right? They get a little more health. They yeah, get a little I think more, so. Uh, yeah. What's with, What's the difference between the level one and level twos? Uh, you mean this, the the orange base and the green base Skylanders? Um, I I don't know. There's a, there are level two Skylanders of um the older ones. You know from the this game. There are newer versions right. like Cinder. Uh, what's the difference yes. between them and the original? So uh, with the series two characters, they're all about upgrades. Oh, series so, two. Uh, <laughs> right there you go. <laughs> just just with your um. Yeah, were you going to say that's what she said? No, I was, I was just trying to work out what it was. I thought it was level two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, so every every Skylander, whether it's Series 1 or Series 2, can go up to level 15 in Giants. Oh, really? But uh, Yeah, yeah. They So you can take your the you know the stealth health you're playing right now, mm. and you can play her in Giants, and you can level her up past the max of oh, excellent. this adventure. What happens the, uh, if you get them to level 15 in Giants and then play it in this one? They should, as far as I know, you should be able to bring them back and have them still be level 15. Interesting. I will test that. Uh, yeah, definitely test that. Uh, I'm not sure about that. But, uh, uh, the, but on top of being level 15, the Series 2 Skylanders have a bunch of sort of cool upgrade-y things they can do that the Series 1 Skylanders can't. Mm. For example... You can switch your upgrade paths dynamically. So 
you can you can upgrade them on both paths and switch between them to get the one you like. Right. Um, and in addition to that, uh, every Series Two Skylander has one extra what they're calling Wild Pal upgrades that you can get. Right. Uh, basically, uh, I think it's the the final upgrade that you get along their path is a. Uh, they, there's one more that's right. now probably the actual final upgrade. Okay, cool. And they're reposed and they look cool. And yeah. Like the the trigger happy one, like you you know that ability he has where he plants that giant chain gun. Yeah. Well, the display is him on the chain gun, right? <laughs> so they just look kind of rad too. Mm. I'm I'm looking forward to um playing as the uh the second version of Cinder because I love Cinder. Oh good, I'm glad. Yeah, she comes with the starter pack mm. this time, so yeah. it's her. That will be level uh, fifteen. It's her and uh, what's his name? Uh, no, I popped uh, Jetback. Oh, and... I died. <laughs> oh, Speaking of still. Cinder. <laughs> uh, let's. Uh, Kit Man with eleven asked, uh, "Who's the main character of Skylanders, and who will be the main character in Skylanders Giants?" Well, the the main character is the player. Yeah. We the way we're trying to make it is is it's a story about you and your dudes mm. uh, going on, and and you know we have uh, the non-player characters like Flynn and Callie who are going along with you, yeah. but generally speaking, they're just taking you places so that you and your buddies can be awesome. Mm. Uh, but. We, we tried as hard as we could to make it so that you, the person who found the frozen Skylanders and is bringing them back to life, that's the main character, you as the portal master. Yeah. Isn't, um, isn't Chaos in a, in a toy shop in Giants to begin with? Uh, has that been revealed? I, I heard it was. I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I will, I have heard that it was. Yes. I, no, yeah, he, he started in a toy shop, yeah. I, I don't know if that was released in a trailer or not. I I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> won't get in trouble, yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure someone already said that. that. That's what I read somewhere. It may have been leaked, I'm not sure. You cannot tell. You really can't. <laughs> I, don't really understand, I don't understand how stuff gets leaked in the first place. Like, really? <laughs> couple ways uh sometimes it's someone someone who works at a place just is disgruntled right and then other it's uh you know like uh uh you know uh there's a lot of people in the chain for making a game you know like uh there are people who are whose responsibility it is to ship the games out right. to uh um, to ship the game out to to stores you know like all that stuff and at any point in the game where someone's handling it i mean there can be a leak Right, and it's you know, mm. um, we try to do our best not to have those mainly yeah. because it's uh, it's important to the uh, it's important to marketing that they be able to uh, tr tr uh, trickle out information so they can keep people interested in it mm. for a long time before it comes out. But uh, you know, usually when it comes out, it's not that bad. It's just they they kind of want to keep it tamped down. That's all. Yeah. Uh, I have no idea if Spyro or Chaos is going to be in Wreck-It Ralph. That would be pretty cool. If that you were would there. be cool. <laughs> I know um, uh, Robotnik. I'm not going to call him Eggman, and um, and uh, Sonic is as is um, Bowser. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, I I think that's awesome. Yeah, it's good to finally see a movie based off it by someone like Disney. <laughs> Right, it's it's that it's our hobby. Mm. Can't talk Boom. about your toy. So any about future toys, I'm gonna have to answer. Sorry about that, guys. Ah, I got it. Got the got the gift. <laughs> got the hat. <laughs> that is mine. Question for you: Which Skylander is your favorite? Uh, mine or yours? Hey. Uh, 
Where am I going? <laughs> Still there, Teal? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. You cut out for What's your favorites. Mine. Um, I really like Cinder and Whirlwind. Um, but uh, they're pretty much they're all really good. <laughs> Whirlwind, my favorites also. Yeah, Whirlwind lo reminds me of Rainbow Dash. <laughs> I, I don't Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash and My Little Pony. Because <laughs> it's pretty much, it's a Pegasus which can use rainbows. <laughs> it's pretty similar. That's how my, my little cousins, that's how they described Whirlwind. They said, he shoots rainbows and farts cotton candy. <laughs> Uh, level up! I felt so stupid the first time that happened because I didn't see the words level up. I was just like, what was, what was that? <laughs> Loads of people were just like, leveled up, it said that. I was like, okay, I missed that, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Ethan Gateman, I'm, I'm not a brony, but I, I am the friend to bronies, let's put it that way. Yeah, you, you've you made My Little Pony references. <laughs> and I do that for the bronies because mm. I am a friend to the bronies. Yes, and I, I thank you for it. <laughs> Well, you know, they're they're just nice. Yeah. Like, it's hard not to like the bronies. I know, I find it annoying that, we, like, bronies just, like, uh, put, normally is described as being, like, trolls when we're not. We make awesome fan music <laughs> and fan art. What's trolly about that? <laughs> I mean, like, uh, you know, uh, it's it's really difficult to... to be angry at someone for just something they like. Mm. You know what I mean? It doesn't make yeah. sense to me. So, it's just, especially when they're cool about the way that they express it. So mm. that's that's always been my view on. It. Yeah, like I I don't particularly like Sonic Adventure, but I don't hate people who like it. Plus, it's it, you know what? It's easier to like bronies than it was to like furries, and and I had to like <laughs> furries working. Yeah, because man. A lot of furry fans. <laughs> so what was um, your favorite level from the game? From uh, Spyro's Adventure? Yeah. Let's see, what was my favorite level? Well, this one was the first level. Well, so really? I a, yeah, yeah, Stormy Stronghold was the first level we ever had done. Ah. But... It wasn't the first level ever, ever, but it was. You know, I think uh, this you know, was uh, the was the one with the. This was the level that really made me think. This feels like a classic Spyro game because it. I don't know what it was about it. It was just the way it was laid out and the way it looked. It just reminded me so much of the classic Spyro games. It was. It, it, I was really happy at that moment. I. I, I don't. <laughs> That's all. It was so good. That to is play. We... <laughs> Sorry to talk, right? Uh, you're starting to cut out again. Up now, am I good? Uh, yeah, there you go. So Cityman says, uh, "Do I have any tips about becoming a voice actor for video games, etc?" I'm sorry, I don't. Uh, I actually tried to help my sister be a voice actor and completely failed at it. So I might be the, right. the exact person to ask. <laughs> well, um, at least you tried. You know, <laughs> we'd be able to answer better than I can, but. I mean, it sounds like uh, it's difficult to get work that way, yeah. so I'm not sure. I think as an actor or actress, it's hard. You you have to go to as many auditions as possible and hope that you are better than everyone else, and you just might not be right for that specific part. Because, I mean, I, I, I do acting and stuff, and I've auditioned for a few things, um, like, just just for fun, pretty much. And, like, some, sometimes you are good for the part, and, and but you just, there's someone more suited to it, so... Yeah, it's kind of hard to get to get work for it, or you know, it's it, it's a fun thing to do. So yeah, you uh, what was your favorite level? You never actually said because I interrupted you. Sorry. I, I forget what the what it was called in the final game, but it has that giant stone golem boss at the end. Oh right, yes, the one that reminded me of Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, yeah, where where he pounds on the ground and stuff. Mm. Yes, that's yeah. I think the ninth I level. I think that's chapter nine. Yeah. If I'm right, I'm gonna be called. shocked. <laughs> we 
just called it Stone Golem for the whole time we were developing it, so I don't remember.